What's going on people? Today I'm going to show you how much I earn driving for Hermes for one month. Let's get into it. So, jumping on the computer now, I'm going to show you four invoices from uh, the end of November to sort of midway towards the end of December. Obviously, if you're looking at getting into delivery driving, courier driving, obviously the, the busiest time when you're going to earn the most money is sort of Christmas and there is other times during the year when obviously presents, Mother's Day, all sort of things like that, but Christmas is generally the, the busiest time. So, obviously, this is going to be how much I earn during the busiest period so don't expect to be earning this and you know obviously it all depends on how many parcels you get how many uh, stops are on your round on average but if you're starting for Hermes uh, always ask them how much volume am I, or how many parcels am I going to be delivering per day and then you can sort of work out roughly how much you're going to be earning depending on how much time you want to uh, dedicate to working to them throughout the day so I'm going to show you the invoices like I said from the end of November and into December, uh, which I've got open here. This is my, this is like the portal that the couriers log into. It gives you like your daily pay statement and your invoice for each week. And that gets sent through to here and then it gets paid into your bank. Uh, sort of, I think it's every, is it every Saturday, something like that. But anyway, let's jump in and look at these. So this one here is from the 23rd, 11th, 19th, the 29th, 11th, 19th. So the last month of November. Uh, I was doing two rounds. Um, since I started, I was doing two rounds. I mean, it was one, but they split into two. But yeah, it's basically, so I was doing varied, really. Uh, but that week, I'd done 400 deliveries. And I worked four days a week, so you're looking at roughly 100 a day. And I was averaging about 25 an hour. So I was sort of doing six-hour days there. But so for that week, my average... Earnings per item were 91 pence. Obviously, if you scroll down here, it breaks it all down into the different sort of pay brackets. So for like the packet there, which is sort of like your small sort of parcel, uh, 68p. And then obviously your standard parcel again, which is varies in sizes, but your standard one is the 90p. And it just breaks it down for other stuff. You get obviously extras, like if you get proof of delivery and blah, 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 other stuff. But yeah, that first week there, 377 pounds and 45 pence. Uh, I've got another one open up here. That one, £522.31. Uh, £454.82. And then the last one, £436. So you're looking at averaging out when it was busy for, for the round I was doing, sort of four, four and a half hundred quid. But bearing in mind, I was only doing four days, and that's what I take home, but that's before tax, before all the expenses. So. I've broke it all down. I'm going to run over the expenses with you now. Uh, what I will do first, actually, I'll show you. Obviously, I was getting 89 pence per parcel on that week. So you basically, when you start for Hermes, you get a base rate, which is like 60 pence. That's your like average pay per parcel, which is like not very good, like nothing. Then once you've been there for a few days and you, you, you do the job, you go in for a rate review. So you put your rate review in. That takes ages. Everyone moans about it, but that's just how it is with them. So here is the first invoice I got. Uh, that was the first week I started. I only worked one day because I started on the Thursday, and I was only doing Monday to Thursday. But average earnings per item for this invoice, 62 pence. So 81 deliveries, two collections, and I got paid £51, minus your fuel, which I think was sort of £15, £20 a day. So that day would have been £30 on that base rate. So say you went 30 quid, that would have took you the best part of five, six hours for 30 pound. So when you start with them, go in for the rate review. Uh, you just speak to your manager and say, I want a rate review. And then they say, how much do you want? Obviously start going high, say sort of like 95, even even a pound. Obviously it does vary from substation to substation, but going high, they'll only knock you down, but you want to get that sorted straight away because that can take two to three weeks, maybe a bit longer. So for two to three weeks, you're going to be earning... 30, 40, 50 quid a day really, which isn't very good. But then after that, obviously it does get better. So let's jump on here now. So here I've broke it all down. These are the earnings that was paid for the four weeks that we looked at. So it totals to 1,791 pounds and 15 pence. And then I put my monthly costs on. So fuel, 
250 pound and i've gone to the higher end for these it's normally a little bit less than that but i've gone to the higher end to give you a true and sort of honest uh review of how much you can earn there if you was to work there so fuel 250 pound a month furniture 100 pound uh wear and tear so that's like uh, of your van or your car obviously you're driving it quite a lot you're doing a few miles in it every day so i just was saying about 25 pound a week just put that aside in case i don't know your wheel blows or you get a problem with the vehicles and you've got some money covered for that i've also took the 20 percent tax off for that so the total earnings were 1,082 pounds and 92 pence. I worked approximately 90 hours, so the pay per hour there is about 12 pounds, but again, that was in the busiest sort of time to work for them. So there you go. If you want to work for Hermes, that's how much I earn. That's how much it all cost me. So you're looking at, at best, I'd say, that probably is because you know I had a quite a decent-sized vehicle. I was smashing through the, del the deliveries then, so... I think you're not really going to be getting more than £12 an hour working for them. Maybe up to 13 if you are really good or you get a lot of parcels. But, yeah, that's how much you can know with Hermes. So, there you go. Thanks for watching and peace out.